How does a spider know how to spin a web? How does a bird know how to fly? How does a beaver know how to build a dam? By instinct. Instincts provide animals with important and remarkable skills. Instincts are not learned or taught. They are inherited, passed on from parents to young, generation after generation to all members of the species. Every beaver has the instinct to swim and build dams. Every red-bellied woodpecker has the instinct to dig holes in trees for nesting and roosting. Every honeybee worker instinctively helps produce honey. These animals do not have to think about their behavior. It is automatic. They are born with the ability and urge to do it. Many instincts involve simple activities, like eating when hungry. Such instincts may start playing a role in behavior at birth. Just moments after hatching, a baby songbird raises its open mouth to beg for food. When a baby bird raises its mouth, the parents feed it by instinct. A baby mammal such as this mink automatically seeks milk from its mother. These animals were not taught to do these things and may have no idea why they do them. Without these instincts, though, the animals could not survive. Instincts also help animals achieve amazing feats that seem completely beyond their ability. A spider spins a web without lessons, instructions, or plans of any kind. It makes a strong, complex structure with a system of supports that could challenge even engineers to design. We might think of the spider's instinct as a sophisticated computer chip for web making already loaded into its tiny brain at birth. Even though animals are born with all their instincts in place, it may take a while for some of the instincts to show. A butterfly is born with the instinct to fly. However, a butterfly certainly cannot fly when it hatches from an egg. It is a caterpillar. This wingless, worm-like creature probably has no urge at all to fly. It mainly wants to eat. Then the caterpillar makes its remarkable change into an adult. This change triggers the instinct to fly. The butterfly flaps its new wings and suddenly flutters into the air. Have you ever heard the expression, free as a bird? In many ways, birds and other animals are not free at all. They must do what their instincts tell them to do. Instincts are as much a part of an animal as its ears or legs, and almost as hard to change. A ground squirrel always has the urge to dig in dirt. 
A deer, at the threat of danger, will run away. Warblers nest in North America and migrate south for winter. They make the long, hazardous migratory journey by instinct. They do not choose whether to go or to stay. An inner force commands them to fly south in fall and then north in spring. Of course, the instinct to migrate is important to warblers. Most warblers cannot find insects to eat where winters are cold. Instincts help animals survive. Not all animal activities are instinctive very basic automatic actions like breathing or having a heartbeat are called involuntary. Involuntary actions occur on a regular basis, even in sleep. Certain other actions are considered reflex. Reflexes usually provide quick, simple, automatic responses to little things. If you have an itch, scratch it. If you are stiff, stretch. Animals can also learn behavior. They learn from parents, other animals, and their own experiences. Intelligent animals, such as mammals and birds, learn a great deal. However, learning usually starts with an instinct. Consider bird songs. Simple songs, like that of a morning dove, seem to be guided solely by instinct. A morning dove raised by itself so that it never hears another dove will still give the same cooing call as other doves. A bird with a more complex call, such as a song sparrow, may not develop a full song unless it hears another song sparrow. It might sing only bits and pieces of the complete song. Apparently, song sparrows inherit some singing ability, but learn their tune. Also, song sparrows from different places may have different accents. What an individual song sparrow sings depends upon what it hears and learns as a young bird. Hunting skills also combine instincts and learning. Almost as soon as fox pups can walk, they pounce on and tussle with anything resembling prey. The pups show an instinct to hunt. Few of these early hunting efforts produce food, yet over time, through trial and error, the fox pup learns what works to catch mice. The urge for a fox to hunt is instinctive, but the knowledge of how and where to catch mice most effectively is learned. Some animals learn surprising behavior. Brown bears eat salmon that migrate up rivers for spawning.
Different bears get their salmon in different ways. Some simply wait for salmon to die and pick them up from along the shore. Other bears run down live salmon in shallow water. Some bears even learn to dive completely underwater to get fish. Still others wait for salmon to jump at waterfalls and catch them in midair. Few bears catch fish by all methods. Most specialize in one or two ways, which get passed on through a family like a tradition. The young bears learn from their mother and then in turn teach their young. But bears do not have to hunt like their mother. A bear may learn a new way it likes better. Every bear over time learns what ways suit it best. With instinctive behavior, an animal is compelled or forced to behave in a certain way. Brown bears eat fish. With learned behavior, the animal can be flexible. Bears may catch fish any way they want. The more intelligent an animal, the more it relies on learning. Humans the most intelligent of all animals need years of school to prepare for adult life. People even learn new things just for fun. Yet humans do have instincts. We might have trouble recognizing them because they are mixed with so much that is learned. The urges to walk, to talk, and to form families and groups surely stem from instincts. Do you think riding a bike, reading a book, or keeping a pet can be traced to instincts as well? Instincts take many forms, from flying to singing, from web making to hunting. Perhaps the strongest of all animal instincts is the instinct for life, the instinct to survive. Day in and day out, animals are driven to hunt, to eat, to hide, to reproduce. We cannot completely explain the urge for life or how and why other instincts work, but they do. Instincts are powerful inner forces that direct animals through some complicated and critical steps of life throughout a lifetime.